Yes. I'm eating a carrot. You got a problem with that? <laughs> All right. All right. Get my headphones on. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. I just decided to... Um, that is something that I do every now and then. That's, you know, one of the reasons why I'm the only one in my family that doesn't wear glasses at, at my age. <laughs> so, yeah. Eat a lot of carrots, man. Good for the eyes, okay? Um, this series, I have to say, enjoying it very much. Season 2, Episode 2, we're going to watch today. It is Tuesday for you. Saturday for me. And I hope you guys are ready to jump back into this um, last episode. I'm going to talk about it a little bit because I think I don't think I talked about it enough because uh, I was trying to I think I was trying to rush through that review for episode one, to be honest, because it was very late. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I recorded that episode and I was going to keep going. I was going to keep going. But, you know, <laughs> Some things happen, you know, and I had to um, go. Okay, uh, I'm trying to fix my camera. Yeah, right there is okay. Okay, so we have Gutrid, which is supposed to be king, but it seems like he's going to be manipulated by the dude that gave the prophecy, the priest, or whatever you want to call him, the, the, um, the abbot. Right, I think I, I think he's gonna be manipulating this dude. I think that's the best way to describe. I don't know what that happened there. Um, I think that's the best way to describe it. So I'm gonna try to get through these episodes today. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can today. I'm gonna record. I already recorded episode one, so I'm gonna be doing three more episodes today, and along with four episodes of The Walking Dead. And also, if I can get into the anime stuff tonight, I will. But I'm trying to do as much as possible because I really don't have anything else to do. I could play video games throughout the day, but you know what I'm saying, on my days off, but I'm choosing to do this and to just, for the whole week, not have reactions to do. Um, if I do have something to do in the week, um, I don't know if I'm going to get called away tomorrow. My, my family loves, loves to contact me on Sundays to do stuff. So the, um, that's the thing, because they know that that's the day that I do the least amount of things. So that's the day they choose to call me to come do things, which is weird and disturbing. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to jump into this, man. I love where this story is heading. As I said, episode one wasn't, it, you know what I'm saying? It moved the story along, but it wasn't anything to really review, review. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it moved the story along. It was a very funny episode, in my opinion. So, we're going to go watch this, and I will see you guys for the review. Hopefully, they ho they open up some more um, of the story of what Season 2 is going to be about. I know it's going uh, to be about this king, and also Albert, Albert, Alfred taking over, um, trying to get back Northumbria, which they're going to use this king to kind of get that done. And, you know, I want to see if it stays accurate, it, you know, if it stays the way how it is. As in season one was a banger. Hopefully season two is a banger too. Let's go do this. And I will see you guys for the review. You know... You see, my opinion of this show is is going, it's going, it's just, it's an awesome show. Don't get me wrong, but it plays with my emotions so much till it, it just gets me so mad. You know what I'm saying? And I guess if Uhtred is not captured, it's kind of like I'm watching a, a anime. This is pretty much, a, pretty much the structure of your you know, of a lot of animes that I watch. The structure of the main character just going through all this stuff and can't get it. It's like you get a W and you immediately take a loss. It's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just crazy. Um, 
not saying that this is anime, of course. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, the storyline just reminds me of watching certain animes and stuff like that, of how the, the, the stuff that the main characters go through in anime. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes on to um, Uhtred's character, man, you know, you want to see this character win so much that you want, you don't want to see him take a loss, which you know is going to be there, but it just makes me so mad how how they do it. It's how he takes these losses that gets me mad because the other people, like, he's doing all of this stuff to to just get back home. He just wants his home back, and people think that he's have these ulterior motives, which he does, which he does not have these ulterior motives. When he, he had a a genuine talk with a friend, Guthred, right? A genuine talk with him, basically telling him, "You have to declare me a rival, so so you can use Gazelle, you can offer Gazella to me, so that you can make peace in front of the people." Right. When we all know they're not he's not really saying that we're actual enemies or anything like that. He's just saying he's just saying that just for saying that it's just how friends talk. You get what I'm saying? So. But for, to see him turn around and be like, oh, I need these men. So he you know, I'm going to sell you. You sell out your friend, bro, when you could easily take out Bebenberg or whatever to do Elf. I think his name is Elfrich. Elfrich? I, I don't even know his uncle's name. But this dude is a buster, bro. I can't stand his ass. You know what I'm saying? I cannot stand him. Even though he was on screen for literally like five minutes or less. I cannot stand him, man. He's the worst kind of person that you could ever come across, man. He, 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 he basically... Might as well have killed his brother himself. You know what I mean? He might as well have killed his brother to get his kingdom. Because he wanted his brother to die during during the fight so he can so he can get the kingdom. And he wanted Uhtred to be killed. That's why he didn't even try to go save him in the first place. Right? So he came he, he, he came back now and he still wants to kill Uhtred. Uhtred wants to kill him too. But rightfully so. Dude. You know what I'm saying? But Gutrid, he's just another one to put on the plate. And then, you know, I'm glad that in the end that King Albert decided and calmly, you know, addressed the situation. Um, but I was re really just mainly, you know, but you don't just do nothing. At least he did something. So I can't say he didn't do anything. He's doing something towards the end of finding, uh, of finding him. So now Uhtred is lost. He's in the wind. He's he's a slave or whatever. Um, but is the uncle going to take this? You know what I'm saying? Is he going to take this? You know what I mean? Like, is he going to be like, okay, I'll still do it. You know, now that Uhtred is not the head of your army anymore. Or is he going to say, no, I needed his head because he sold him into slavery. He didn't sell him. He didn't, you know, give him to his uncle. You know, so how is that going to play out? So, you know, all these, the, the, I mean, even, even Alfred's daughter is sitting at the table saying, this is Uhtred, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Bianca is there saying, this is Uhtred, dude. I'll look for this nigga. I don't, I don't care how long it takes. This is Uhtred we're talking about. The one that when he, when he had the chance to, he could have killed your ass on that damn boat. Alfred, he could have killed you on the boat. When he realized that it was you, he could have killed you. And don't give a shit. You were by yourself. And you're hesitating? My nigga, if, if that's me, and, and to all, all the stuff that we've been through with Uhtred and all of that, and you're trying to tell me, they come and say Uhtred is in trouble? Uhtred is in trouble? My guy. Get everybody. Get everybody. We going to get my nigga right now. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't like the I didn't like the fact that Alfred is still you know what I'm saying? And and that's the thing with you guys have told me that sometimes I'm going to like sometimes I'm going to hate him. You don't really know which which area to bring him in. I'm I'm like, "Yo, this dude helped me win the war. He stayed with me. 
advised me. You know what I'm saying? His girl helped out my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, destiny. De destiny is not all for for Alfred. <laughs> I guess destiny is not all. I mean, you know, I can understand why Uchi is always saying destiny is all because you don't know where your destiny is gonna take you. You don't know where fate is going to take you, and it upsets me to no end that my nigga Alfred, which I've become so cool with right now, that he didn't jump up and be like, "Yo, Uchi is in trouble." You know what I'm saying? Richard is in trouble? Psh, come on, man. Come on, man. I, 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 you know what I mean? Bruh, come on, man. Anyways, guys, that is my review for episode two, man. That was awesome. Hopefully, you guys checked out the review and you didn't just, you know, if you did stay here and watch my review of this episode, man, I really do appreciate y'all. I know most of y'all that watch the show here don't really come back to watch it, so I do appreciate the few of you that come back and watch the review um and i appreciate y'all um definitely leave a comment in the comment section let me know if you did watch this review <laughs> this was like this was like one of those reviews man you know what i'm saying upset and all and i'll see you guys next time don't forget to like the video subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts man i'm out